Kandy is set amongst the hills of central Sri Lanka and was once the capital of this ancient kingdom. Kandy is a religious city and is the home of the Buddhist Temple of the Tooth. Batik is an ancient technique of wax-resistant dyeing. First, the pattern is drawn onto the fabric by a highly skilled artist. Next, dye-resistant wax is applied to the fabric so as to allow the first colour to be set. Once the wax is dry, the fabric is dyed and then the wax boiled off. This process is repeated for all the colours in the design. The art of Baktik was practised by the Kandy Royal Court ladies over 2,000 years ago. Then we had to do the design again on the floor with wax. Boiled wax, like this. Paraffin wax, these wax, resin, they make a mixture and boil. After that they do the design like this. This particular Batik design is waxed, dyed and boiled once for each colour in the design. Eight times in all. So takes a long time and then they put it into the colour, first colour, lightest colour. So this one with yellow. After that, the same method. Do the same method with the lighter to the dark. Yeah, white. Then they cover yellow. After that, next color red. Like that, they have finished at the end. Black color. To remove the wax, boil the cloth. The end color becomes finished one. Both sides same. So all the butter clothes we do the same way. It takes a long time. For this one, I had a few days from the beginning to the end. Now this is boiling, so it's no problem after removing the wax. Also, you can wash in the washing machine. It's a new wax, it's a new pattern. On the beach, in the old days, in the first Give us a twirl. You can see the mirror. And also, this is also a very important dress for ladies and gents, both can wear the kimono. Yeah. Yeah. 
we do with the very nice simple designs like this, we do the longer size and the short arms also. And the same pattern we do for children also. Nice. And now I will show you. This wall banner depicts the annual procession through Kandy to celebrate the festival of the tooth. It's a batik creation and took 48 days to complete. This incredible Hindu temple is dedicated to the goddess of rain and fertility. One of the most dominant features of the temple is the 108 feet high spire. It's an amazing sight and is decorated with 1,008 colourful statues of Hindu deities. It is an amazing work of Hindu religious art and is sacred to all Hindus. Time for lunch in a Sri Lankan curry house. A rich variety of tasty curries for three diners.
the temple of the sacred tooth relic is a world heritage site. It is also Sri Lanka's most important Buddhist religious monument. Filing past the golden casket containing Buddha's tooth. This is truly a sacred moment to believers. According to Buddhist legend, Buddha was cremated 2,500 years ago in northern India. One of Buddha's teeth was saved from the flames and is now in a golden casket in the inner sanctum of the Temple of the Tooth Relic. Followers of Buddha from around the world make pilgrimage to this important site to view the golden casket holding Buddha's tooth. 